for joining me. Welcome to our time of spiritual transformation. Today is Friday, July 24th. And so our topic today is use the force, Luke. Uh, if anybody knows me, man, I grew up a huge, absolutely huge Star Wars fan, right? I love that movie. When I was a kid, I had all the characters, all the little action figures of actually. So one of the things that happened is kind of passed them on to my kids, let them play with them. Some people say that's a good idea. Some people say that's not a good idea. But like, you know, this is a Luke Skywalker character. And I want to talk a little bit about why that movie resonates so much with me and what it meant to me. But crazy thing was, I didn't realize this till the other day, my son Austin noticed that this figure was sitting on my desk. And my son Austin loves modern updated action figures. So for Father's Day, he went and bought me this, right? And he was like, this is so much better, Dad. Let me show you kind of the articulation and the weapons and the detail and everything else. And so this has been sitting on my desk now too. Um, <clears throat> and it's been kind of this really cool thing, but Star Wars was 40 years ago. But it, see, it still resonates with me. It still resonates with my kids. Why is that? Well, there's a couple of things that come out. One, Luke Skywalker is the hero, right? And we all have this desire deep down in us to be seen as the hero. Well, maybe not all of us, but I'm going to tell you, I do. Um, and so then if I do, then maybe you do too. Um, but I want to be the hero. I want to be the guy that comes in and saves the day. But one of the things about Luke's journey in the experience as he's becoming the hero is that he doesn't do it alone. Right? What he discovers is what they call in the movie the Force. Something that is there standing behind him to help him uncover his potential and uncover his ability to become the hero. And we have the same thing in our lives today. Right? So I was looking, this is a little bit more of an obscure scripture, a little bit in a place, it's from the book of Nahum. And you might be like, that sounds like a Star Wars name itself. It is. It's in the Old Prophets towards the end of the Old Testament. And this is Nahum 1.7. And here is what it said. I turn my Bible upside down. Let me turn it back over. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knows those who trust in him. And so that's my question for you today is there are troubles all around us. Where do you find your stronghold? You know, Luke, in his adventures in Star Wars, he learns how to use the Force, and that becomes his stronghold. But that's a movie. That's fiction. We have the Force in our own life, and that is God. That is the Holy Spirit speaking into our life every single day, if we will embrace it. And what God invites us to is the opportunity to be the hero in the story that he's telling, if we will slow down and listen to what he's saying and listen to how he speaks to us, but do we go to that source or do we try and do it on our own? You know, I don't know if you remember the scene in Empire Strikes Back where Luke is trying to go, you know, he's in the training with Yoda and he's going down into the pit and Yoda's like, hey, don't take your weapons, you're not going to need them. But he takes them anyway. And I think of this as kind of like God is giving us instruction every single day about how we're to go into situations. And for Luke, it turns out that's a really poor situation and a dark, some darkness happens inside of that place. And where in our life do we go into situations, into places that if we would stop and listen to God, God is giving us instructions. Hey, you don't need that. Or hey, you want to take this. Or hey, you want to do that. But we're just not listening. And so where in our lives can we do that? Where in our lives can we pay more attention? And it, where does it start? Well, it starts by slowing down. It, stops, it starts by just being quiet and listening. So can you take five to ten minutes each day and just stop and listen for God? And listen for His Holy Spirit to speak? Can you use the force that's been given to us in this time? And in that, Again, then we have the opportunity to write a story alongside God, a story that has the ability to transform us because we're listening, and as we listen, we're transformed. A, tra a story that will transform today, a story that will transform tomorrow, a story that will transform eternity. Will you go do that? I, it's, it's a challenge for me every day, but it's something that I've just learned to make a habit, and I've fallen in love with it because getting quiet and being able to hear from God 
really has strengthened my day. So I challenge you with that today. So if you're in agreement, I want you, this is going to be a fun one. I think type in hashtag use the force. And that's just talking about the fact we're going to engage with God and we're going to connect with him to know how he's speaking into our lives every single day. Let me pray for us. God, thank you that you are that small, still voice, the force in our life, that you are a strong tower. You are our fortress when we don't know what's going on, and you are there to guide us and lead us. And so in the middle of all of this uncertainty, you lay out a simple invitation, an invitation for us to come in and just love you and know you and get quiet with you. And inside of that, what you promise to do is protect us and show us our way. And so, God, would you do that? Would you show us our way? Rather than movies and fiction and things that give us false hope, what we know is we have certainty and true hope in you, and I pray that we would embrace that today. God, I still pray for our country, and I pay for our people. Um, I pray for no rain tomorrow morning so that Clayton, my oldest, can have a good graduation that's outdoors, um, and we can just celebrate that time. I thank you for this weekend that's coming. And may everyone get rest. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. I look forward to being with you on Monday morning. Have a blessed weekend. Thanks so much for being here.